Oh, welcome to Black Blood. It's just beta 0.9, I do believe. It looked interesting. The intro was really strange too, but it gave good vibes. I'm looking forward to it. So let us start the demo. Ow. That really hurt. I don't even know what it was. So there's a. Wow, that guy's got really bushy eye fucking lashes. Jesus. So it's like. It's like. It's like razor wire. Oh, you're awake. We're locked inside the building. Oh, yeah. Looks like she came here to eat, but don't worry. I know how to get out of here. Just follow me. Come on. You, you just knocked over my ivy. What are you doing? <laughs> Yo, man, follow me. That's what the hell's going on here? What? what? All I did was come for a drink. And all of a sudden, I passed out. Please. Don't don't try to do a solid snake voice. That's oh, that's that's a I I I'm I'm gonna be as genuine as possible as I usually am. That that voice is cringy. That does not sound natural. Oh, I, uh, oh boss, I just uh, Metal Gear. You're uh, like you're struggling, like you're taking a shit. It's just no space to hide. No, I want to read that. I I want to read. There we go. Like spamming the F key nonstop. Name of patient Helen. Unknown age. Kind of doctor's note is that if you don't know her age, even. Uh, hospitalization observations. Elderly woman. She was hospitalized after suffering a sudden tetraplegia. A sudden tetraplegia. What? The patient is deaf. Dumb. D Wait, dumb and blind. What? The nurses have decided. What's with the random caps? Or maybe I'm supposed to read them in the row, so it would be elderly was deaf, dumb, and blind have decided to call, as is the existence of. Uh, that's a weird fucking message to write, especially if it's supposed to be doctor's note. Like, it's on a clipboard. So a doctor's claiming that she's dumb, and blind, and deaf. It's kind of discriminative. And uh, it's not in English, but okay. Also, the backside of my character made me think of Hatred Dude, the, you know, Hatred, the game where you're like a, an angsty black, a guy in a black leather coat trying to mow down innocent people in the town. It reminded me of that at first, but then I look at the front, and I'm just like, oh, never mind, he's like, uh, he's like Russell Crowe, he grew out his hair and was extremely fat and lazy, and, and he played games all day. He, he does have a Russell Crowe face, too, come on, come on, you have to... Ah, shit. Get off my dick. Ah. <laughs> he said, like, "Get off my dick." Ah. Ah. The voice acting, I love it and hate it. Oh, yeah. uh, voice actors, thank you, voice actors. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay, so why is he? Why is he struggling with the zombie? Hello. Hint, hint, take the gun. Why do you have my hair? First, it made me think of Full Metal Alchemist. What the hell? No, don't do those voices! God! Ugh, no, it's so cringy. I can't handle it. It's trying too hard to be Solid Snake. Just don't, please. Anything in here? I already was in here. I know, I know, I know. But ah, uh, that voice. Don't. Just don't. Gun, please. F. I got a handgun. Why did you have problems? They just shot him in the head, like, three times. Woo! <laughs> Yay! Oh, I can't jump even. Okay, what is this? I gotta- I gotta calm down myself. Dr. Phillips' diary! He has a weird way of writing notes with the uh, random caps. Why? Why? The patients are getting PROGRESSIVELY worse. A fear- a very severe contagious disease is spreading THROUGH the whole hospital. Doors and windows have been sealed. Quarantine status has been declared. 
symptoms of the new disease, loss of consciousness, insensitivity to pain, large skin, to you errs, high level of aggressive behavior, color of blood. The black color of blood is the most shocking feature of the disease. For that reason, staff has named it Black Blood Disease. Mm. Okay. So yeah, that's a great note. You know, the random caps. It's just great. Smoking causes lung cancer. No shit. <laughs> Whoa. Dr. Obvious. Need you in the lobby. So I can hide. Why do I... That's not hiding, really. That's... I mean, that's cool, but... It, it, space isn't to hide. It's to... You know, it, it's to take cover. Let's see if I can do it with the shooting, too. Yeah, I can. So it's not hiding. Fuck off. It's not hiding. It's... it's sp press space to cover. Uh, I'm not sure who the English translator is, because I know, obviously, elevator has no electricity. The, uh... The origins of this is sound... Uh, the, by the developers... I mean, the language. You just, like, let's look at this. Uh... Hola. It's Spanish. Spanish. So, I mean, you need a better English translator. I got a key! Okay. I just need to turn on the electricity. Dr. Phelps notes, Helen's birth certificate has finally been found by the police, but it was impossible. Helen was born on December 25th, 1817. She's 200 years old! What a plot twist. Are you in here? Oh, you're, you're, you're sort of bagged up, but you haven't been tossed into the lake yet with a cement block. What's this? What's this? F. You got 30 bullets. Nice. Getting a little tiny bit of leg. Where am I going now? Hmm. Do I need a... S Hello. Do I need to shoot ya? Or are you just gonna vanish, buddy? Yes, you're gonna vanish. Oh, jeez, that's a lot. I'm going to try to assume it's two or three bullets to the head, and while they're doing... They, uh, they don't have a invincibility. Before, it's like when I shot the first one, I was presuming there'd be an inv invincibility or temporary one whilst they're, you know... Uh, holding their head. Get out of here. We should find the rest of the survivors. <clears throat> Middle Gear. Dr. Phillips' diary. Inexplicably, Helen is recovering quickly. She has start. No, she, she has started to talk. However, my bad. However, she only says I am here to feed, but she refuses to eat any of the food we offer her. She off. Hey, m music! You're getting way too fucking loud. But she refuses to eat any of the food we offer her. She often talks to my nephew, Ben. Why did he come to visit me at the hospital? He could be infected with the black blood syndrome slash disease. We, we, we get you. You called it black blood. And you put it in quotations and ended it with a fucking asterisk. Um, Alright, sorry. Oh, no, no, my bad. Black blood asterisk, but ends at the disease with the quotations. Ne ne never mind. Uh, I could never forgive myself if that happened. When I think of asterisk, usually I put an asterisk when I, um, uh, miss- when, when I- when I mistype something, like there's a typo when I correct myself, I usually add a- I usually put an asterisk to be like, oh hey, I'm gonna correct myself now. I mean, I like the- one thing I'll say I like, at least about the game, everything needs a lot more polishing, however, I like the environments. A little unoptimized, but... Oh no, you're getting a little too close for comfort! Okay, I like the environments. Um... I'm going to assume, and the whole music transition when I walk through the door is a little weird too. Like, probably does it for here too. No. Okay, for the zombies that way. Okay, I won't get surrounded, so I'll just. No, they seem to be actually invincible. Oh, geez, what the fuck was that thing? 
Ew, they're covered in some kind of disgusting bugs. And the cockroaches. That's nasty. Not as nasty as Iron Maidens and, uh, Iron Maidens and, um... Man, that's nasty. That's nasty. There's cockroaches everywhere surrounding that plant. I don't know why, but okay. Helen has vanished before my very eyes. It seemed like her cells evaporated, and now she is in another part of the hospital. But where? I need to research this phenomenon. I agree. I have seen Helen turn into a horse. Am I going crazy? Too many days locked up. It was locked up in this hospital. I think Helen is infecting the other patients and she steals all their vitality. Helen is not a person, but some strange being. A demon who wanders around the world. I am a man of science. It must be a biological phenomenon and maybe I can find a way to stop her. So the doctor's trying to reason that the weird shit going on has to be scientifically explainable. F. 30 bullets. Not like I need them. I got tons. But, uh, sure. I like the concept of uh, a bug swarmed zombie, but it doesn't seem to do much in terms of uh, power difference. The hallway's cut. You can't pass. God damn it, fucking Gandalf. What are you doing to me? Um, like, maybe if there was a mechanics where you shoot the, the bug swarm zombies and then, um, uh, but, like, if the bugs were bigger, then you can have it so you shoot them and you have to shoot the bugs off, but the first shot has it so... The first shot on the zombie, the bug will fly off and then it'll be two enemies. The bug will try to crawl at you and the second shot will kill it. But you st still have to shoot the zombie a few more times and knock off other bugs that are guarding its vitals, you could say. That'd be an interesting mechanic in my opinion. Well, instead, the bugs are just there for grossness. Also, there is a horse here. Why is there a horse here? Well, she turned into a horse, so whatever's been chasing me, that ghost thing that ate the black guy's soul, is, uh... I, I guess that's Helen, rather than something to do with my character. Uh, we have succeeded in stopping the water leakage in the fire detectors on the first floor, but any further damage... Future damage to them could cause further water leakage. Please be careful with first floor detectors. First floor fire detectors. Okay. Whew, all this shouting is gonna ruin my voice. Oh wait, here's a zombie. Ooh, you're naked. Oh, bring the butt. Okie dokie. Apparently, we're chained up like it's Silent Hill 4, the room. A chain blocks the exit door. Huh. Peculiar, but sure. Not sure who'd have that capability of uh, installing all those locks without anyone being like, hey, what are you doing, you know, installing all those locks with your power drill? Uh, can you stop that? Nah, it's for a future experiment. I don't know. It's kind of bizarre how that would be able to get installed. But hey, we can explain everything with... Well, well that wasn't how to hide. Uh, we explain everything through biology, as the doctor says. The hallway is cut. I cannot pass. Wow. Oh. How am I supposed to start the fucking electricity then? Is there like a button around here that activates it? I'd assume it'd be in the basement basement, but... No idea. Actually, wait. I haven't tried this room yet. Aha! I gotta say, um... It's a little... if I'm going to nitpick something else, you, this being the lobby of a hospital and you enter a literal room to the next to it and it's this shabby and disgusting looking, it's kind of a, a little unrealistic if you know what I mean. And bloodied lab coats? It's like, is this some a doctor's office? Like, if you were to get an appointment to see a doctor, you go from this sort of average looking hospital, you go into their room and it's just, you know, dirty, molded concrete? Who would have an office like this? It makes no sense. The building has not enough power supply. At the moment, no more than one floor. I I'm gonna just fucking stop doing that. I I I'm just gonna stop. On the third floor, electricity is needed to keep the elevator working. It's still, the random caps is just fucking weird. On the second floor, we need electricity to turn on the lights. On the first floor, 
Please use power support. What? Okay, wait, I, this seems maybe important. No more than one floor. Okay. So what, do I have a choice in the matter? It's just like, I only can do one at a time, so uh, let's, let's see it then. Okay, so we can have a choice of... Oops, I clicked out of the side of the screen. Um, I'm going to assume it's space, so let's do... Main door? Sure. I'm not sure what that was for, but it was for the second floor. I'm assuming on the main floor, surge or room, yep, more. So we're going up above. This might need to be two-parter, but I don't have too much time. I don't have too much time at all. You might be asking, hey, what, what do you mean not too much time? It's like, well, I have work. I have to juggle this kind of... Uh oh oh, no, oh. Okay, fuck this, goddamn. Mouse cursor keeps going out of the screen. That is not cool. Okay, apparently I won't be able to fix it. I, I tried, but the mouse cursor... Oh, you know, it's just going wherever the fuck it wants. It's the problem with it not being, you know, full screen mode. Although, I might be able to solve it, but I think... Wait, what was it? What was it that was supposed to open here? There was a... This? No. I opened something on the main floor, but... Hmm. But what if it had been? It said something about, like, a screen door or something. I'm guessing I won't be able to do that unless I have a floorboard to cross it, though. So, I'm going to not do that, and I'm going to fucking, uh, do another floor. Because for this general lighting, the note said for the second floor, let's see. Second floor to turn on the lights. Okay, that's completely useless. Third is to get the elevator. The first floor to keep the external metal shutter open. So I'm going to try the first floor, then the third floor is going to be the one I actually do. I'm just curious about the first floor. Like, what happens? I, I, like, nothing happened with the shutters. And this is obviously, you know, locked. So the shutters didn't really do anything. Unless it means, like, a shutter over there. I have no idea, really. Okay, so it has to be third floor. I'm just going to end it here, though, and continue in the next episode. It's, uh, I don't want to have it too long of an episode. So I hope you enjoyed this game. Enjoyed the silly antics of my raw energy and my yelling. Hopefully that won't cause me problems in editing. Hopefully not. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber. And until the next time. <sighs> I don't like this room. I don't like that monkey over there. It reminds me of that horror movie from... Oh, God. I don't like that monkey. That is the, the creepiest thing in this fucking room. There's that one horror movie with the fucking creepy-ass monkey. Cause enough nightmares of people. At least you don't have the fucking... Uh, the symbols, you know, when that, when that clashes together. I fucking hate that monkey.